If you want to continue to follow our adventure, click subscribe. So you don't miss anything, click the bell notification. So as a lot of you know, I have been, uh, been at mom's for a few days now, uh, doing some repairs on the truck camper, the homemade truck camper. Uh, you know, I had a big hole right here. Wanted to give you an update on that real quick. A lot of people were concerned, and so was I, that this 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 right here was going to rub on the cab of the truck. So I have actually cut that out. It's no longer touching the truck. Talking about the repair, I've gotten a lot of comments about the truck camper. People want to see the truck camper. People don't like the truck camper. People think that I should buy a manufactured truck camper. And just all kinds of different comments. I really resisted the idea of showing you the camper because of just that. People really have a lot of negative feedback regarding my camper. When our pop-up camper burned down, we were without a house. So we had to do something fairly quick. This is what we chose to do. Now I know everybody seems to think that I need to spend thousands of dollars because I have an emergency fund. And when will Rob ever consider anything an emergency? That's gonna take a lot for me to consider something an emergency. I mean, yes, the pop-up camper burning down was an emergency, but I don't think that replacing a $650 pop-up camper with a $10,000 camper was all that reasonable either. It's just a minimalistic lifestyle. We like it, this is our life, and I share it with you. You know, I take a lot of pride in, in what I built. I really do like this thing. I think it is a stronger camper than uh, something you could buy. It's just really solid. I know that when I was at Dad's, uh, in Dad's fifth wheel, tripped and, and fell up against the wall, like, just barely. I mean, it's not like I slammed up against it. And the whole wall flexed, very flimsy. And he talks about all the repairs he has to do on it all the time. There's always something going wrong with it. We've had this since April, and here it is December, and we have one repair, and it really was my fault. I didn't seal the inside as well as I should have. And so other than that, I mean, the, the thing has just held up like an absolute champ. The other thing is, is it's easy to fix. I don't have to take it in to the repair shop and get it fixed and be homeless for days on end waiting for the repair shop to fix it. I don't have to go get a hotel room. I can just fix it, just like I fixed this. And I said this in the last video, this spot was gonna be the hardest thing to fix. And I fixed it within just a couple hours. Uh, I, I recognize a lot of people don't like my fix, but it's fixed and it's back on the road and in good shape. It only weighs 250 pounds, which is very important because I have a four cylinder truck that can only carry 1400 pounds. So I don't see the point in spending a ton of money going and getting a new truck or a van or an RV when we're very happy with what we have. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll do the best I can here. I did not extend the camper out to the tailgate. There's a lot of advantages to this. One, it reduced the weight, probably by 50 pounds or so, which I know doesn't sound like a lot of weight, but 50 pounds is a uh, more than a five gallon bucket of water. A bucket of water weighs 40 pounds. So extending it out, I would have to, you know, reduce my weight with water. We have a little step stool here that we step up on, a real cheap Walmart thing. Carolyn found in a trash can uh, at one of the campsites this scissor jack. And so we use that so when we step on up on the, the tailgate, it doesn't rock the whole truck. Really has stabilizers. It stabilizes it when the wind is hitting us from the side too. Very little rocking now. So, but this tailgate gives us a lot of space flexible space space that you wouldn't think about we can use the tailgate to do our dishes uh, repair the generator during the summer we'll wrap a tarp around this whole thing here and you can see see i have hooks here where i put the hook the tarp to we open the door and we can take a shower right on the tailgate and in the winter we take a shower inside but this gives us a lot of room yeah. windows are just aluminum windows i bought at lowe's for just, uh, I don't know, I think they were $30 a piece. I'm not even sure they were that high. Uh, we have a little plug here. Uh, this plugs into our generator. You know, we can plug our generator, which charges the batteries and different things, or we can plug it into shore power. Not a lot of current goes through this. It's just the battery charger and when the refrigerator kicks on. 
Many states require that you have uh, running lights like this one when you're wider than 80 inches and this camper is 83 inches wide the cab over doesn't hold a lot of weight it's for storage only you know we have a two by four here for structural integrity right here but everything else is two by twos i have extended mirrors i bought some extended mirrors off ebay uh, which you know gives us a clear sight picture behind us a lot of people want to know what prevents anybody from shutting the tailgate while we're inside because when the door is open you know we can't get the door open if the tailgate was closed okay so it won't close when we're inside because i have a lock right here that keeps it from shutting okay so we're going to come inside and when you come inside the first thing you see is the bed the cab over okay and I'm going to try to do as good a job as I can to show you everything here. It's a tight space, so yeah, the camera doesn't like to work in the tight spaces. Anybody has been in the live feed will know that we hang our pots and pans up here. We have a Coleman stove that we use also for our heat source. Underneath the bed is storage. Well, I have a towel here because it's so cold. But that's just the floor of the truck. That's all that is. It's got water, propane tank. And we can shower right in this area right here. Come to the other side, we have our fridge. Of course, we have shelving and bread on top of the fridge here. I sit right here on the bed, work on the computer for my videos and different things. See the battery charger and the inverter and the batteries over here. To keep the uh, condensation down, I've gotten a Rubbermaid water cooler now. Got our carbon monoxide detector here and here everything you see is white is, is insulation styrofoam insulation uh, i know there's critics about that too but uh, i made a video about the safety of that and, and how we've decided to deal with it. it keeps the weight down we hang our ipad like that and then we can watch netflix while we're laying down thanks for watching click like if you like the video and happy travels